Hello and welcome back to another motivating episode of the Palm Beaches TV Watch Party series. I'm Theo Dorsey and today we're diving into a world of wholesome family fun as we explore the vibrant array of activities that make our beloved Palm Beaches a destination for all ages. From sandy shores to lush green parks, our community offers boundless opportunities for families to connect, laugh, and of course, create unforgettable memories together. Palm Beach County is known for its award-winning park system, which offers a wide range of leisure activities. With over 8,000 acres of parkland to discover, there's something for all ages and interests. You have done something that I think the majority of people strive for in their lives, and that is to make a living out of having fun, right? Because you strike me as just like a big kid. Well, you're absolutely right. I've never worked a day in my life. Partnered up with Greg Norman Jr. And uh, this is our second location, but we couldn't be more proud to be out here in Palm Beach County uh, with our Shark Wake Park 561 out here in Okehealy Park. And this is a great Florida time experience, sure. you know, to come out here and do water ski activities all year long. As a beginner, you have, obviously, you can bring people in slowly to this, right? Absolutely. Like, we have a ton of really good programs and really great coaches out here that really make it easy for the beginner rider to come out and just learn how to do it. No flipping or diving, no swimming under the rafts, no rough housing or horseplay. Do not bring any sharp objects out there and please use the yellow and green steps like these six ones up front to get up onto the raft when you fall. Down a little bit. Huh? You can swim out when you're ready. Oh, there's swimming involved? Oh. Yes, there is. Over here is this aqua park. Tell me about the aqua park a little bit because that's uh, that seems a little bit more my speed. Yeah, the aqua park is an inflatable obstacle course. Perfect. Anybody can do it. You just got to be seven years old, 45 inches tall, know I how to swim. I need both of those requirements. It's fantastic. It's a really uh, great workout. If you touch every piece out there, you've touched over 96 different features. Wow. You know, there's monkey bars, rock climbing walls, rappelling walls. So it's for meant the, for everybody. Right. For the for the for the punies, I we can still do it and it's fun. Absolutely. Right? Okay. There you go, perfect. Now take a seat. Oh, sure, yeah. <laughs> no problem. Yeah, take a seat. Okay. <laughs> Got it. Once we feel the pull from the key, we're putting all that weight on our back foot and bending our knees nice and low, letting the handle out nice and slow, okay? <laughs> Shut up. Just think about it like this. When it starts to pull you, that's when you're going to stay nice and low. Stand tall and you'll fall. Stay low and you'll go, all okay. right? Okay. All righty, this one is you. Okay. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> Not bad for a beginner. Not bad at all, Frank. We're shifting gears from the adrenaline pumping thrills of wakeboarding to something a little more grounded, but equally exciting. Get ready to embark on a whimsical journey as we explore the enchanting world of Delray Beach Children's Garden. From learning about the environment to discovering the wonders of nature, this is a great place for the kids to stay busy. When we were kids during those summer months, our parents would tell us to go outside and play. But these days, many kids spend more time online than outside. Well, there's a spot in Delray that's working to change that one mud pie at a time. Here at the Delray Beach Children's Garden, kids not only come to learn, they can explore and enjoy nature. It's an oasis. It really is. Tell me about this place. Well, we opened uh, over eight years ago. Two amazing women, one a botanist, the other a retired preschool teacher, thought it would be a great idea to start a community garden, but for children. Yep. And so we kind of included all these really fun playscapes to get children back outdoors, learn about growing food in our garden, and kind of foster eco-consciousness. Love it. These are some, some basil. So oh, yeah. carrots over here taking away, kale. And you're doing programs here on top of it because I noticed you have a little thatched classroom here, we right? Do. We do year-round uh, educational programs from mommy and me craft classes to uh, a full-time homeschool and nature school. 
field trips, birthday parties, and just weekend play for families to get back outside. We have over 17,000 visits per year. What? It's incredible. Good for you guys. Yeah, we're a busy little community garden. Everybody who comes here just says, we had such a good time. I feel good, whether it's the grandparent, parent, caretaker, child. The hardest part is leaving here. We give kids uh, wagon rides to it's their car. Like, yeah, <laughs> it's not like you walk in and go, oh yeah, this is this is not gonna be no great. I hate this place. There's yeah. nothing to hate about it, right? It's, it's, it's sort a of a beautiful green space. It's an eco paradise. And children learn a lot. This gives kids a, a safe space to play, learn about the environment, and connect with it. Yeah. Because it's through that connection that they'll be environmental stewards as adults. I love that. One of my favorite quotes is that play is the work of children. Uh, so we learn yes. through play. They're not two separate things. Right. In some places, 80 toddlers might seem like a lot. Yeah. But here, they lead their own exploration and play. They make use of our mud kitchen, our, our paint wall, our water play station. Many parents have said that this is the least amount of effort for their child to have such a great time. The Palm Beaches are known for beautiful year-round weather, but as we all know, rain is no stranger to South Florida. If you're looking for an exciting indoor activity for the whole family, consider an escape room like this one in Abacoa. I'm headed to an escape room in Jupiter where the owner has searched the globe to find the most immersive settings. The question is, do I have the will to escape? Okay, this is, seems Pretty tame, right? A couple of creepy paintings on the wall. So what do we got here? What, 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 what am I pulling here? This might this? be a puzzle. It might you be might a puzzle? Have, you might have to figure something out, and when you do. Oh, so this all leads to that. I can't get yes. through that door until I figure until this Until you figure this okay, out. Okay, look at this. All right. What was super important to me was making sure that it felt like you're in a, you're really in the experience, yeah. not just in a room with some puzzles on yeah. the wall. Yeah, this is uh, a lot of ha a lot of stuff happening. Yep. A lot of lightning, a lot of creepy, creepy dude there. What gives you the idea for the escape room? Like, is it just the trend or because it, you're crazy and kind of conniving and a little... I'm all about just, having fun. Right. I don't take life seriously in general. You um, seem like you're a little mischievous. And, yeah. and my girlfriend actually dragged me to my first one. Is that right? I thought I sounded stupid. I didn't want to do it. Yeah. And I just fell in love with it. I love puzzles. I always That's have. What I, was ask. I had so much fun with it, and I saw the business side of it. And if I found a builder that could create the kind of games that I enjoy playing, right. they'll be fun for everybody. A lot of locks everywhere. Is there like There's a shortcut? A few. Yeah, is there a There's shortcut? There's no shortcuts. shortcuts. You have to solve everything to nope. complete the mission. What happens if I'm in a room? Let's assume, and obviously I'm very intelligent. What happens if I can't solve it? How long am I stuck in this dark room? You have one hour. I could be in here for an hour? You're, you have one hour to complete it. Wow. And if you're stuck, we're always there to help you. The box, holy. Oh boy. What? What am I doing in here? It's very, very confined space here, Jared. Am I, uh... There might be some more puzzles in oh, there. Oh, I might have to, okay. And then your final step is to get through the final booby trap. Oh, look at this. Oh, I feel like Tom Cruise. Now do I try to get through the... Lasers here? You could try. Is that what I do? Oh, look at this. You can't trigger it, though. No, no. Am I am I impressing you with the the the, the way of You've my? You've made it a lot further than a lot of people. <laughs> Very impressive. Boom! Is this a prison? Yes, it is. Whoa! This is well done. This is like this feels real. That's the goal. We want it to be realistic. Wow. You work on this as a team? Is that what you do now? You're all, the whole thing with escape rooms is you're always working as a team. Okay. It's never an individual thing. You can't solve things alone. Right. I like that. What a great lesson for children. Interacting is so important yeah. these days. Well, listen, it's, it's oddly comfortable. It's comforting. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> From the adrenaline-fueled waters of Shark Wake Park to the tranquil oasis of Delray Beach Children's Garden, and finally, 
the mind-bending challenges of a local escape room. Today's journey through family-friendly wellness has been nothing short of extraordinary. If you liked what you saw here today, make sure you check out full episodes of the segments featured at thepalmbeaches.tv. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm Theo Dorsey, and we'll see you next time.